1666, deep in the heart of India, a beautiful blue diamond is discovered. Miners toil under the fierce sun, eyes wide with awe as they hold the magnificent stone, glowing with an inner fire. The gem is sold to King Louis XIV of France, becoming the blue diamond of the crown. But as the diamond changes hands, a rumor circulates, a legend is born. A curse is said to follow whoever possesses this stone. During the French Revolution, chaos reigns. Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette lose their heads, and the diamond vanishes. The curse seems to have claimed its royal victims. Two decades later, a smaller yet similarly intense blue diamond emerges on the market. It's bought by King George IV of England. His reign is plagued by scandal and debt. Upon his death, the diamond disappears, fueling the curse's legend. The year 1839. The diamond resurfaces in the gem collection of Henry Philip Hope, christened the Hope Diamond. He dies childless, and his family feuds over his inheritance, their relationships ruined. In the early 20th century, the Hope Diamond travels to the United States, bought by an affluent socialite, Evelyn Walsh McLean. She flaunts the gem, unaware of the storm gathering around her. Tragedy befalls Evelyn. Her son dies in a car crash, her daughter from an overdose, her husband declared insane. She clings to the diamond, her charm turned into a tormentor. After Evelyn's death, famed jeweler Harry Winston buys the diamond. Realizing its cursed history, he donates it to the Smithsonian Institution in 1958, where it can be admired without causing further harm. Encased behind thick glass, the Hope Diamond rests. It has seen rulers rise and fall, families torn apart. It remains, beautiful yet ominous, a silent testament to human desire and despair. The Hope Diamond, now a symbol of knowledge and history, attracts millions of visitors each year. Do you believe in the legendary curse of the Hope Diamond, or are you skeptical about the tales of this captivating gem?